Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have some fun. I've got a really fun e-bike to share with you today. This is the Mock Wheel Slate, and I got the Jungle Camo just because I've never gotten a camouflaged e-bike before, so I thought it was kinda neat. They do have other e-bikes as well, all different colors as well, so make sure you check out their website. So I'm gonna take this out on the road, we'll take it for a spin, we'll talk about all the features, but before I do that, I wanna share with you what I love about this e-bike. Without a doubt, it's this panel right here. So sometimes e-bikes will have these big panels, sometimes they have little panels, sometimes they're black and white, sometimes they're color, but none have this. The ability to take your panel right off the bike, now it's worthless. It is a regular pedal bike without this right here. So there's your security. You wanna go and have a bite to eat, maybe a quick ice cream cone. You can do that, take your panel with you. Safety right there. You come back, all you have to do just snaps right back in place, turn it on, you're good to go. Really cool feature, never seen that before. So let's get on the road, we'll talk about range, we'll talk about speed, we'll get some good shots of this, we'll do all of that today, let's go. All right, so I'm out here riding, testing out this e-bike, and I gotta tell you, it's a really nice e-bike, really high quality, and I can tell just from this ride, it was easy to get on, easy to get off, and as I'm riding out here, I'm not feeling a lot of those bumps, because it does have that front suspension. It also has this back rack, as you can see behind me, which is nice for carrying groceries. If you're gonna head to the store, head to a friend's house, pick up some stuff. It's always nice to have something like that. And I mentioned really quickly in the intro about the removable panel. It's just a peace of mind when you do park it at the store or whatever, and you can just pull that panel right off and then it's just a regular bicycle, a very heavy bicycle that nobody really wants to pedal. So it's kind of a nice little security feature. I do want to mention really quickly before I forget, this is UL certified, so as I'm at her riding, I don't have to worry about the, the battery overheating or anything like that. I know battery fires are always a big thing and Mach Wheel is really good about making sure that they follow all regulations and all testing so they are UL certified. So let's talk specs, guys. This thing will go up to 25 miles per hour. That is because it does have a very powerful 500 watt rear hub motor it utilizes a torque sensor as well and that is an upgrade on a lot of e-bikes and so uh, anytime you get an e-bike with a torque sensor it's just going to be a little bit more expensive and that's just because that is more sought after you get a more realistic feel um, when you are out there riding it does have a payload capacity of 350 pounds so even those larger riders can ride this and cargo on the back uh, to a 60 mile range on this now that's going to be with pedal assist anytime that you go from a pedaling a situation to straight throttle, which this does offer both options. You're gonna have a much lower range if you just sit there and throttle it. Um, again, that depends on terrain and your rider weight, so there's no specific numbers, but you can get up to, like I said, a 60 mile range if you are doing pedal assist. These are three inch fat tires. They're not the meatiest, biggest four inch tires, but they are 20 inch tires with a nice golden, like a white wall on it, which I really like the look of but they are a little bit bigger than traditional road tires. So you're gonna have a fairly smooth ride on the road, but you could also take this off-road. One thing I like about Mach Wheel as well is if you go onto their website and you click on accessories, they've got all kinds of things. You can get extra batteries, water bottle holders, baskets. You can even get trailer uh, trailers, pet sheds. Uh, phone mounts, literally there is an endless amount of accessories that you can add to their e-bikes. Now this is a foldable design, so the more that you add to it, say you add a front basket, something like that, it will make it a little bit heavier to lift, but also a little bit harder to fold really small. And this does fold really small, and I'll show that to you later in the video. Now this is just the Slate model, and I've reviewed a few of their other e-bikes. They've got e-bikes with power stations, they've got big, huge, fat tire e-bikes, nice step-throughs like this one. They even have e-tricycles and city commuter e-bikes. So if you do check out their website, make sure you look at all of their options. I'm riding the Jungle Camo. I like it, but there's other colors as well with this exact design. And this is one of my favorite designs because it is easy to get on and off, and you can fold it down for storage. Whether you're transporting it or just putting it in your garage, it is really nice to be able to fold it down. I gotta tell you, this is so much fun to ride. I hope you enjoyed the riding scenes on this. So I'm just gonna give you my quick final thoughts of this before I let you go. Guys, this thing right here flew. Had a lot of power, a lot of torque up those hills. Didn't diminish the speed when you went up those hills, which is quite impressive because it's not the biggest motor, not the heaviest e-bike, 
but it had a lot of torque. So it's got really good quality components, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, another cool thing about this, it's fully adjustable depending on your height. So you've got your seats adjustable, but also your stem. And this is very unique. So you could actually raise this way up or way down, whatever feels comfortable for you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I mentioned it's a foldable design. So let me just quickly show you how to fold it down. And then I'll let you know where you can get this at a discount because who wants to pay full price, right? E-bikes have gone up and in price recently and um, and I know that it's because of these tariffs that are coming into effect. All right, so to fold it down, a really simple. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your stem down. There's a little latch right here. You just lift it up, flip it down, and this will fold straight down. And then after you've folded the neck down, you, this might actually work for you. This might get you in those SUVs, but if you wanna put it in a smaller sedan, something like that, um, or in your truck, bed of your truck, you could actually lay it down really nicely just by opening this up just like that, and it will fold in. Now you can just fold it just like this, boom, just like that. Um, it will go a little bit smaller too if you get the pedal out of the way just like that and then you just fold it all the way in and it actually has a kickstand right here which will hold it up which is really nice so just like this alone you could fit this in a lot in fact you could put three of these in the back of my jeep which is pretty impressive so if you do want to get multiples maybe you want to take the family out riding you can fold it up nicely stick it in those suvs and you're good to go really like this bike it's not that heavy either because a lot of times these foldable e-bikes can be really really heavy um, but this one really isn't. So all you have to do, again, just latch that in place, lift this guy up, latch that in place, and guess what? You're ready to get on the road, guys. That's the fun about a foldable e-bike. You can fold it up, fold it back, you're good to go. Only takes a few seconds. And guys, if you want to get something like this, I'll put a link down in the description section. Also put any discount codes that I find down there for you as well. I don't want you guys to have to pay full retail. Prices have gone up on e-bikes recently, and I want you to get a good deal on a good e-bike. This is a good e-bike. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.